Drew, if he survives CM Punk, which I don't think he will, I think uh, you know CM Punk's going to hand him a beating that he can't handle. Um, when he's done, he can pick up the pieces, uh, get back on the horse, and he can come visit me on SmackDown. Hello, I'm Bill After here with WWE Superstar Baron Corbin. The year is 2056. You've aged a tiny bit, Baron, um, and you seem to have shrunk. Please tell me how you're feeling about SummerSlam weekend. I can now do all these wonderful flips and everything over the top <laughs> rope. I can go through like I couldn't do when I was taller. I can do almost anything. And I have been a baron my whole life. Yes. Yes. I, am, I live in the barren wastelands. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. That's Ooh. the new thing. That's the new home. Build from. Okay, you can have this back. Yeah, thank you for doing that. No, no, you're you can, now you're Baron Corbin. Now, now we're letting you know. I'm He's now Baron Corbin. Everybody, hello, Bill. After here for Sports Keto. Welcome back to the After Chat. I always love interviewing. Yes, it's always a good time. You always, you always have, have fun. You always have. So the content editors of Sports Keto have given me some questions okay. that I figure I would ask you. So NXT, WWE. What is the main booking difference between? Triple H and Shawn Michaels. I mean, I think the the cool thing is they're they're fairly similar. Um, they both have uh, a similar mind for the show they're trying to create. They want to have, you know, action. They want to have car crashes. They want to have dominant superstars, guys that can hand out beatings and uh, guys that can go. I think that that's something that's really amazing. But you know, when you're in NXT, for me, and it, it's not the same for everybody. It, right. For me, I had a little bit of an advantage where I came in, and they're like, hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish when you're here? What do you want to create? And so I got to do that where the main roster, you have a little bit of freedom, but you don't have that, that kind of freedom. It is much more right. um, handled by all of the, the great writers that we have. But um, And is there, more, is there more input from the wrestlers, from the talent, in NXT than there can be on the main roster? I think so. I think a lot of it, too, is because those guys, are they're finding themselves. They're right. finding who they are, what they're about, what they want to stand for, mm -hmm. and what kind of character they want to bring to the page. When you get back to the main roster or when you come up for the first time, you're kind of established in the character that you're doing. So they have an idea for what you're doing already versus you trying to just, uh, you know, dip your feet in the water and figure out where you want to go. Yeah. Are you happy with what they're doing with you on the main roster? I mean, I'm happy to be back. I'm yes, happy yes. to be with Apollo Crews. He, he's a great competitor. Um, he's making me do crazy things like jump over the top rope. I don't, you know, why are we doing that? I'm You're 280 really pounds. And I'm yeah. like, hey, yeah. see ya, let's go. Like, uh, it, it's fun. It's exciting. It's new. It's fresh. Um, so I'm always, I'm always happy uh, to be in the mix and a part of things, but I'm always hungry for more. So I want to see where this takes me, uh, whether it takes us to tag team gold or we split off and go our own ways. And I start working my way back to that main event scene and, and back to a uh, uh, championship opportunity. What's something about Apollo Crews that nobody knows about, that you know about? Um, I don't think anybody knows that he's actually going to school right now and getting his master's degree. Oh, really? Uh, in physical, I think it's physical science, diet, exercise. Um, he's an extremely smart guy. Yeah. And so now to balance not only a wife and kids, and WWE travel lifestyle, mm -hmm. he's also getting a master's degree. And what about uh, Baron Corbin? What's something that no one knows about you that we can let everybody know? Um, tough question. It is tough because I've yeah. a lot of it on, on social media, whether it be the cooking or the jiu-jitsu or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But it's funny, um, a lot of people never realize I have kids, which I think is something that, that people don't know. I have two daughters. One of them uh, she's five, and she's absolutely going to be a WWE superstar because she's out of her mind, and that's she's great. already throwing drop kicks off the couch. So um, maybe that's something a lot of people don't know about me. Okay, well, that that does, are you training her already? Already, yeah. Okay. She's well, I'm teaching her some boxing, and she can throw a nasty arm bar already. Ooh, ooh. I don't want to meet her even in a light yeah, alley. Yeah, not, yeah, it's funny because I'm, I'm the dad like at the park when she's like, hey, Bobby, this kid pushed me. I'm like, well, go punch him in the throat. Like, that's my instant reaction, whereas, like, well... Tell them don't do that. I'm like, no, violence. You know, maybe it's not the best thing ever, but um, she's going to be tough. Well, that's great. I'm looking forward to uh, interviewing her when I'm 120 yes. years old. Let's go. So, uh, Braun Breaker has been raising all hell on yes. Raw. Give us your... You know, we were doing the Wolf Dogs thing. Uh, he's a lot of fun, but I think somewhere in the process of his transition to the main roster, he may have gotten rabies or something because he's just gone rabid and just destroying everybody. He's doing 
spears from 60 yards away, and he's yeah. running four flat 40s. Um, is, he, uh, is he Goldberg? I mean, no. I, I think he, he is Braun Breaker. He is his own entity, his own monster. Um, and, and he's got a lot of tools, you know, where Goldberg was running people over, he'd be able to spear, hitting them with a the jackhammer. I think Braun's athletic ability is uh, on a whole nother level, you know, where he's jumping to the top rope, he's doing Frankensteiners, he's jumping, flipping over the top rope. I think he adds another dimension, another level to kind of that that style of superstar. Drew McIntyre Drew is the only person in history to ever kick out of this. So what would you would you like to get back in the ring with him and Yes, yes, I would. I would love to um get back in the mix with Drew and and go to war because you know when he left and came back you even heard it in his match with Roman Reigns where Roman was saying you're not the same Drew, you're not the same guy. I think I went and did the same exact thing. I created a, a new level of energy, excitement, uh, aggression. And so it would be a different animal that he got. He's uh, he's watching us right now. Could I ask Bill, would you mind coming in real close and focusing on him? Drew McIntyre is watching this right okay. now. Okay. I mean, well, he's got a what big match like against CM Punk. I mean, for Drew, if he survives CM Punk, which I don't think he will, I think, uh, you know, CM Punk's going to hand him a beating that he can't handle. Um, when he's done, he can pick up the pieces, uh, get back on the horse, and he can come visit me on SmackDown, rumming him with the end of days so hard that his head pops off his body and bounces in the third round, and it becomes a souvenir for like an eight year old kid. You heard it here on the After Chat Sports Keto Russell Binge. We'll, would you mind pointing out? We'll see you at the matches. Check out Brain Buster, the daily quiz that tests your WWE knowledge with winning streaks, stats, and more. It's time to see if you're up for the challenge.